then going back a bit further, and I think you may have already answered this question, but <clears throat> when did you know you wanted to make music and, or be in a band or did it all start when you at, at the church? Mm. You know, yeah, I mean, it definitely started then. I think, I mean, at this point, I just don't ever remember a time before I wanted to be a musician and, and to write songs. And, you know, I think what's important to me about this is like, writing songs that are like i always wanted to write songs that like created like a relationship between a person and the song and myself something that was like very like i identifiable you know mm -hmm. uh, i think being a very different kind of person in the environment that i grew up i always felt very lonely and so my music was always you know on top of just being something i just love so much was something that was like a way of connecting I always recognized how songs were had the ability to bring you into something and feel connected to something bigger. So yeah. that was it was kind of just always something that was so like real and important to me. So very cool. Well, you're definitely not the first musician or songwriter we've talked to who originally started in a punk band. It, it kind of seems to almost be a it's natural the, progression from punk to country Americana or mm -hmm. uh, for a lot of artists um, yeah. again. But again, is this something that you thought might happen that you would migrate into country? Where did the country part come into <clears throat> to play for you? Where did that well, path open up? So I loved country music from the get go always have and loved country, but like, and really like the, I mean, I will, I'll say like, you know, to give credit where credit is due. I started playing guitar because of Keith Richards and he has a very, while it's very rock and roll, he has a very country vibe to a lot of licks that he plays. Like, yep. it's just kind of sassy and twangy. And mm -hmm. I, I really love that. But then I also, you know, remember, <laughs> I also re remember so like late 90s country songs that I really loved, like all the John Michael Montgomery stuff and, <laughs> you know, Brooks and Dunn and like uh, anything that like Brent Mason did, you know, like his guitar playing and you know i loved johnny cash like growing up and in high school i was i did some, a lot of johnny cash impersonating impersonating <laughs> you know i had dyed my hair dark and i had a big old pompadour and I, at that time the punk rock retirement plan was that you went into rockabilly you know so oh, yeah <laughs> you know, so but you know I think like any other young person like as i started playing in more like punk and hardcore bands i your friends and people around you's opinions have like a lot of social have a lot of social currency mm -hmm. and so like i probably would have started the on the country path sooner had like i had i kind of skipped the had i kind of skipped that <laughs> that had, need had, for, had that you sense. stopped caring what other people thought you know? yeah exactly <laughs> right? which is the irony of that is like being in punk you know like it's like yeah i don't care what yeah. anyone else thinks except for Except for the four people around me. Except for these other four guys. And, you know, I mean, <laughs> like, I would torture them in the van. I, like, I would torture them in the van playing, like, country music. And, like, it, and they were like, can you play, like, at least, like, Hank Williams or something? But, like, I always love, like, the really corny, kitschy country songs, too. So, like, when Red Solo Cup came out, I was like, oh, we're geez. just into this. <laughs> wow. All right. And. I just find that song like so endearing and like such a quirky, silly way. I, and I love it's just something that I really love because it's ridiculous. And like, if you've never been to a party with a red solo cup and you just know, like you hear, you, you can't hear that song and be like, I don't like this. It's like, yeah. no, this is like, this is a quintessential part of my life that I just, you know, like everybody just came red solo cup in the, yep. in the middle of the field, whatever else, you know, so. 